Hey folks, welcome to another episode. Today I'm in Niigata here in Japan and I'm going to be heading back to Tokyo using the Genbi Shinkansen. Now the Genbi Shinkansen is one of Japan Rail East's joyful trains and it's probably one of the nicest, uh, best designed luxurious Shinkansens here in Japan. So I'm happy to take you along with me for this trip. At the end of the episode, I'll tell you how you can get a ticket and do this trip yourself. So come along, let's go jump on the Genbi Shinkansen. For this fantastic trip, we're starting out in Niigata, the end of the line for the Joachu Shinkansen, and we're headed back to Tokyo. The Genbi Shinkansen terminates at the end of the prefecture in Ichigo Yuzawa, where we'll jump on a connecting Shinkansen back to the city. In the station, we're starting by the east gates for the bullet trains. Before we jump through, I grabbed a bite to eat at this ramen shop outside the gates. It was so good I had to share it. If you find yourself here, do yourself a favor and give this shop a try. With a full stomach, it's time to head to the platform. The Genbi Shinkansen departs from track number 13. As one of Japan Rail East's joyful trains, it generally only runs on weekends and holidays, making only three round trips per day. It's not long before the train pulls into the station. As the train gets closer, the fabulous dark blue livery with its bright colors of fireworks comes into view. This is one special train. The train departs at 2.02, so before we jump on board, let's check out the scouting report for today's train. The Genbi Shinkansen is a relatively small six-car bullet train with cars numbered 11 through 16. Cars 12 through 16 are non-reserved seating, while car 11 is reserved. There are three washrooms located throughout the train, and a cafe located in the center. The Joachu Shinkansen has an operating speed of 240 km an hour. As we jump aboard, we can start to see what makes this train so special. It's not just an ordinary Shinkansen, but an art gallery, with each car showcasing a different artist's work. Normally, this is the time we check out the seat, but there really are none in the traditional regard. Most of the cars are fitted with comfortable lounge furniture where passengers can chat or relax with plenty of space to meander between coaches. So instead, let's check out each of these amazing cars as we leave the station. So the train consists of six cars, uh, cars 11 through 16. And uh, car number 11, the one at the front, uh, is the one with the yellow seats and those are actually reserve seats. You have to pay about 500 yen uh, to reserve a seat there and uh, that's kind of like the green car, the higher end car of the train. And then cars 12 uh, through 16, uh, cars number, car number 13 is one with a cafe. Uh, half the car is a cafe uh, where you can purchase a coffee or, uh, or a beer and the other half of the car is a little kind of a kid's play area, which is kind of nice to see on a train like this. And each of the other cars uh, consists of a different motif. Uh, car number 15, which I'm right now, has, uh, the f has very bright uh, floral and flower uh, pictures and motifs going on over here. And then there's one with uh, a Mount Everest, lots of pictures of, of Mount Everest. And then car number 16 behind me is the one that has uh, six, I think there's six, uh, there's six flat uh, panel TVs on there and they show uh, different scenes of kind of the Japanese countryside and, and, and country houses. So there's definitely a bunch, a wide variety of, of things to see on this train and you can tell the detail and the work that went into this product, it's, it's very nice. And all these seatings, except for car 11, you see these seats, they're all free seating. You can sit wherever you want. You can you can go from one car to another car, and these seats are actually really comfortable. They're, they're I think they're, you know sometimes they're better than some other trains I've been on. And uh, you have a little table beside you. You can put your coffee or you can put your bags, and just enjoy yourself. You can enjoy the passing scenery, except for right now because we're in a tunnel. But you know it's a very nice train. I'm really happy I've been on it, and. Uh, you know, the hard work that went into making this train really does show. The great thing about this train is that there's something for everyone. More than just having a single seat, 
one can go from car to car admiring the art from a variety of artists. If art's not your thing, you can check out the cafe and see the snacks and drinks that are offered. Or you can simply find a comfy seat and take in the passing scenery of the prefecture. My personal favorite was a cafe. But whatever you choose, it's a great time to forget about the busyness of the outside world and to relax in the calm atmosphere that the train provides. In less than an hour, we start to pull into Hiko Yuzawa with the closed ski resorts coming into view. It was a relatively mild winter this year, so the ski season was sadly fairly short. All right, so we just made it to Hiko Yuzawa station. This is where the train terminates on the other side of the prefecture. Overall, it's a fantastic trip. I love the art inside. I love the design, the small cafe. Everything is really, really nice inside, really well done. The only drawback is it's such a short train ride. The Shinkansen goes so fast and can cover a large distance in a short amount of time. And the Shinkansen, this Shinkansen only does run in this prefecture. So it's under an hour. I always wish my train rides were longer. That's the only thing I have to say. But uh, other than that, everything was fantastic. It was a really treat to go on and I hope you enjoyed looking inside with it. I hope you enjoyed looking inside with it as well. Uh, right now, I'm going to jump on a train heading back to Tokyo. This is the same line that does the double decker train, uh, which I did make a video about that earlier, and you can check that in the corner. I'll post a link to that. So, uh, if you like this video, definitely uh, let me know your thoughts on it and uh, you know, give a comment, uh, like, and if you enjoyed it, uh, subscribe. And I will see you guys around next time. If you're watching this part of the video, you're probably interested in how to get a ticket for this train. And there are a couple of methods. First, you can use one of the rail passes offered, such as Japan Rail East or the countrywide JR Pass. You can also purchase a ticket on one of the vending machines. The cost of a one-way non-reserve ticket from Tokyo to Niigata is 10,960 yen. Note that you have to change trains in Hiko Yuzawa, and if you bought a ticket, you can't leave the gates at the station.